later. Good morning, you guys. So today is Saturday, and I am up early. It is like 9.46, I think. And I am at Marshall's. You know how I told you guys about the bio silk combo. So I'm hoping I go in here and find what I need. And probably some of what I don't need. It is very rainy today. I forgot my umbrella. I love that for me. Not really because I hate getting wet. And I have no sleeves today. So, I am about to go into Marshall's. I'm going to take you babies with me. And, yeah. I hope I don't get my phone wet. But, yeah. So, I will be right back with y'all. It's raining so much. But I do it for y'all. $24.99. They always have the best hair care stuff. You can always get the best stuff. They always have a good combination of things.
so I just got a good workout walk in um, Marshalls. I refused to go to the home section because some of the home stuff and specialty snacks were on clearance. So we're going to do a haul when I get home. I am now at Big Lots, which is right next to Marshalls. We're about to go in here. I only need two things. I'm trying to get me some pork rinds and some turkey bites just so I can have some snacks because it's so important for me to have my little low carb. Well, yeah, no carb and low carb snacks. So we're just about to run in here real quick and go get my snacks, my other snacks. <laughs> people starting to wake up so I'm trying to hurry up and get home before uh, they really start getting up that's why I got up early I was like let me get dressed and go ahead and get out for the day because um, it's supposed to rain so yeah that's what we doing <laughs> Today is the 17th, or is it the 16th? No, today is July the 16th. Um, I am getting ready to haul for y'all what I got from Marshalls yesterday in Big Lots. Um, but <laughs> I just wanted to talk to y'all for a second. So I'm pretty sure you might see, I'm only showing the top part of me right now, but you may have noticed, especially if you've been watching me for a while, 
seen my weight fluctuate or whatever, you might notice some differences. Um, and I wasn't gonna talk about it yet, but I'm just gonna let y'all know, listen, I'm trying to reverse some things that's going on or have gone on with my health. And I've been very restrictive on purpose. I'm detoxing from sugar right now. Um, so when I post my food journals, it's to hold me accountable and um, kind of share what I'm eating because I've been very restrictive on my carbs for a reason. So what I'm doing is, if you know anything about Atkins, which Atkins is totally different than keto eating um so i'm doing the induction phase and if you know anything about atkins and the induction phase if you want to lose a significant amount of weight you have to be very restrictive on your carbs um you're not supposed to go over 20 carbs a day but there is a range 15 to 22 15 is the minimum and if you follow it to a T, 12 to 15 um, of your carb count is supposed to come from vegetables. And that's what I've been doing, if you've noticed. And if you go by the actual serving size on foods, um, and it gives you the carbohydrates and everything, then you want to calculate those. So I've been keeping a food journal in my phone as well as the visual food journal that I've been sharing with you guys. So, that's what I've been doing. Um, it's been working. Like I said, I've been detoxing from sugar. So, like dry mouth, headaches, all that stuff. Because white sugar, any type of sugar, honestly, is like a, it's like a drug. You get addicted to it. And it's worse than coming off. And I don't know. I'm just saying that this is what was described. Because I did it years ago. And was very successful with it. Um, but I didn't do it to a T like I am now. Um, because I want lasting results. And the only reason why I'm doing it. Not that it deserves an explanation. But it's because of the significant weight loss that I'm trying to lose. And I also been incorporating exercise, um, which I didn't do when I originally did it. So y'all, I've been going hard for 11 days straight. Now it's supposed to be for 14 days, but the dates that I chose is actually gonna wind up being 15 days. Um, it'll probably be longer than that because it's really teaching me how to do portion control with my food as far as actually measuring out the serving sizes and it's actually enough um i realized two tablespoons of sour cream two tablespoons of salsa a fourth cup of shredded cheese on something is more than enough what i used to put on my foods was way over the serving size way too much doing too much so yeah i just wanted to kind of tell you guys like that's what i've been doing um it is very restrictive for a reason and i'm not mad about it because i love the results um my house dress does not want to stay up um it's very loose fitting <laughs> um Honestly, even when I first got this dress, it didn't fit this well. Um, so, I'm happy with what I'm seeing. And, you know, this is my journey. Everybody has their own opinions or decisions to why they do things. But, um yeah so that's what i've been doing i didn't really want to reveal that because honestly it's nobody's business but y'all my peoples so i'm just sharing that with y'all you know it's very restrictive um it takes a lot of work and discipline and consistency 
and it's time consuming to be honest it's very time consuming but I try not to look at that um, yeah I try not to look at that portion of it so you know until I hit a certain um, I don't know I might continue it after the 15 days I kind of have it in my head that that's more likely what's going to happen because it tells you not to move on and start incorporating more carbs like fruits and things like that until you lose your significant amount of weight and like I said I'm really trying to be restrictive on my carbs and stuff and not do because carbs are in everything you guys sugars are in everything and you have to you have to know what you're consuming and i just don't um you know they tried to say i'm pre-diabetic but like the last blood test i did it was my blood sugar levels were ridiculous they were actually off the charts and I was like, I am not getting put on any more medication. I want to get off the medication that I am on. And yeah, so that's why I made the decision to get serious. Like detox from sugars for a while. It's not going to hurt me when I do incorporate them back in. Of course, it'll be the lower sugar fruits. Um, because I love fruit, so I can't wait till I can eat fruit again. But for right now, that's just not what it is. So I hope you guys are not triggered by this, talking about carb count and all that. I'm not really going into detail. If you guys want me to go into detail, I will. I'll make another video for that. But as of right now, I am living my best life. I have a lot of energy these days. Don't need a lot of sleep. As far as pain level goes, Sometimes, yes, because of my tailbone injury that I suffered two years ago, I still have issues with that. I still need to go to the chiropractor. Um, but it's not as severe as it was. Um, so, yeah, and so that's what that is. So, let's get into this haul. I'm going to go with Big Lots first because it's kind of like my snacks and stuff. Um because I needed to re-up on snacks. So, these turkey bites, because of the low carb index, of course, I do eat just the serving size that's suggested on the package so I don't go over my carbs. I, um, I use these a lot. Um, but I also have to watch my sodium. So, it's not like I could just sit up and eat those like that. Um, I also got some turkey pepperoni for the same reason and then I can have nuts now walnuts is one of the lower carbs um, and I can only have a fourth of a cup which is fine that's enough it's satisfying so I got those as well now I did get a snack from uh, Marshall's and then I got something that I wanted to try. So, um, Marshall's, I got these keto chocolate chip cookies. I did try them yesterday, so it was only two carbs that I ate. They're three carbs for three cookies total, so that's a carb each. I tried two of them. They're not sweet at all. I mean, they kind of... I'm not going to say they taste like cardboard, but it's a different taste. You can tell that it's very much fiber forward. I mean, it would be good probably with a hot cup of tea or coffee. Um, but yeah, <laughs> they're not sweet at all. I see why it only has three grams of carbs. If you eat three cookies, um, yeah. Yeah, they're an acquired taste, I will say that. But that's why I like Marshalls. They always have specialty type foods that you can get and it's not that expensive. Now, I also seen spinach angel hairstyle pasta. Now this, I can't wait to try once I figure out what kind of sauce I can make. 
Um, but this is zero grams of carbs um, in this. So, yeah, I can't wait to figure out how I'm going to cook this with a recipe and try that. But now on to the fun stuff. On to the fun stuff, not food related stuff. Um, so I seen this cute brush. I needed a new facial brush because I didn't want it to be electric and I've been using reusable that you can wash pads to wash my face, but I wanted a brush and exfoliator. Um, so I got this from Marshalls and it was $5.99 super cute of course and then I seen in their clearance section some pimple patches for three dollars so these are hydrocolide pimple patches um, and it's 42 patches and they're the cute kind so they got 18 clouds and 24 suns so I guess that's what they're shaped as um let's go ahead and open it and see if i can see oh yeah these are cute so anytime i come up with a pimpo i got some cute patches <laughs> yeah so it's a total of yeah 24 suns and um, 18 clouds so that's cool I thought those were super cute three dollars why not for 42 and then as I was going to check out I seen these and I'm actually about to put these on I think um I seen these super cute nails for $4.99 y'all know I am obsessed with press-ons rather I ordered them custom made or if um sorry y'all I was looking out the front window and rose past the car and part of their window is missing so I thought that was odd but anyway <laughs> but yeah so I got those and then of course in the video you seen that the main thing I was going for was a bigger one of these sets because I use this for my wig care for my human hair wigs, which that's all I wear now, probably for the past year or so. Um, so yeah, I got the bigger, I have the seven ounce one. And so these are the 12 ounce ones. So I got that. And those are all the things that I picked up yesterday while I was out running around early, you know. So what I'm probably getting ready to do is work out and then fix my breakfast is already 9 34 a.m so i need to get my butt in gear i've been up for a while just kind of you know doing what i do in the morning but yeah y'all um i will pick y'all back up probably a little bit later i doubt i do anything today i don't know i i keep saying i'm gonna go to the pool um but knowing me, I probably wait until my babe comes and he'll be here in less than two weeks. I'm so excited. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna wait for him to come or if I'm gonna just go do a pool day by myself. Um, I tried to get Mama Stylus to go, but she was talking about she'd be burning. I burn in the sun if I don't have no sunscreen on, but whatever. I'm like, it is what it is. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna sit here and talk y'all ear off, so let me go ahead and do what I'm about to do, and I'll probably pick y'all up a little bit later. <laughs> Whew, sweat check. 16 minutes. At standard ab workout. Whew.